Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. So before we start, guys, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, first off, who's Lady Colin Campbell? For those of you not versed in British high society, she's not just some random gossip. She's a socialite author and former reality TV star who's made a career out of spilling royal secrets. Her books on Princess Diana and the Queen Mother weren't just bestsellers. They were seismic events in royal reporting when Lady C talks, insiders listen. So what she's saying now? Hold on to your crowns, folks. I've been told by two people of impeccable integrity that Harry has been in touch with divorce lawyers. Bam, just like that. She's lit the fuse on what could be the biggest royal explosion since, well, Harry and Meghan's Oprah interview. But wait, there's more. According to Lady C, it's not even Harry driving the divorce train. Meghan has decided that she wants out. Campbell claims Harry is, of course, since he loves her, going along with what she wants. Oh, the irony, the woman who dragged Harry away from his family, his duties and his life now wants to bail. It's like a Hollywood script, but even Tinseltown would call it too far-fetched. Now, some of you might be saying, Ben, isn't Lady C another gossip monger? Well, fair question. She definitely had her controversies. Some royal watchers see her as the TMZ of aristocracy, always chasing the next scandalous headline. But here's the thing. In her decades of raw reporting, she's often been right. Her Diana book had the establishment shook. Her Queen Mother expose was a game changer. When she speaks, there's usually fire behind the smoke. Plus, a Harry-Meghan divorce isn't just plausible, it's inevitable. From the moment this Hollywood hustler sank her claws into our ginger prince, the writing was on the palace walls. Meghan isn't just an actress, she's a masterclass in image manipulation. Think about her trajectory. Number one, B-list actress on Suits, a show most people hadn't heard of. Number two, starts a lifestyle blog to build her brand. Number three, lands a date with Prince Harry. Number four, within two years, she's walking down the aisle at Winter Castle. Number five, boom, global superstar overnight. Now, I'm not saying she didn't love Harry. Maybe she did, in her way. But love for Meghan seems to come with a PR strategy. Every move is calculated. Their courtship private, building mystique, the wedding, a spectacle. Post-wedding bliss, brief, just enough to secure her place. Then, the turn, tearful interviews, claims of racism, mental health struggles. She's not a wife. She's a brave survivor. Harry, bless him, never stood a chance. Here's a man who always felt overshadowed by William, by his mother's legacy, by his own missteps. Along comes Meghan, the first person to say, you're not the spare, you're the star. She sells him a narrative, the royals don't appreciate you. They suppress your voice in America. You can be King Harry. So he follows her out to the royal family across the ocean into a bizarre world of Spotify podcasts and Netflix documentaries. Suddenly, he's not just speaking, he's shouting about his frostbitten todger, about William's receding hairline, about everything. It's like watching a man unravel in 4K resolution. But here is the what Harry doesn't get in Meghan's world. He's not the star, he's the supporting actor. His plan, his family drama, it's all content for her brand. Yet beneath the designer clothes and perfect makeup, there's a calculation happening. Megan watching her metrics and the numbers aren't pretty. The Netflix shows, meh. The Spotify deal cancelled. Her attempt to break into politics? Critics. In Hollywood, you're only as good as your last hit. And right now, Meghan Markle's biggest hit is being married to Prince Harry. Without him, without the royal connection, she's just another actress trying to make it in LA. That's why Lady C's claim is so explosive. If Meghan decides she wants out, it's not because she's unhappy. It's because she's plotting. Think about it. A high-profile divorce from a prince? That's not a setback. It's a relaunch. She'd be the wronged woman, the outsider who tried to modernize the monarchy but was cast out. Movie offers, book deals, maybe even her own talk show, surviving the crown with Meghan Markle. ka -ching. And poor Harry, he'd be left holding the bag, divorced miles from home with two young children in the mix. Archie and Lilibet titles mean everything in Britain, but nothing in Beverly Hills in the custody battle to end all battles. Who has more pull? The sixth in line to a throne or a media savvy actress? Now, you might think I'm being too harsh. You'll say she's advocate for mental health and women's rights. Has she, though? She talks about women's empowerment while tearing down other women. Her sister-in-law, Kate, her own family member, she discusses mental health while publicly shaming her in-laws. It's not advocacy. It's weaponized victimhood. The saddest part is what this has done to Harry. Look at old footage. The cheeky prince serving Afghanistan, joking with Usain Bolt, founding the Invictus Games. He was vibrant, purposeful, loved. Now, he's a shell of a man so consumed by grievance that he's lost sight of his blessings. And that's why, as shocking... 
As it all sounds, these divorce rumours might be the best thing for him. Maybe, without Meghan whispering in his ear, he'll remember who he is. Not just a prince, but not just Diana's son, but Harry, the man who once connected so genuinely with people who served his nation. Could he come back from this, repair his relationship with King Charles with William? It would be the comeback story of the century. But first, he needs to do what Feltz and every royal expert has been screaming, apologise. King Charles, for all his flaws, has shown remarkable resilience. He weathered the storm of his divorce, the tragedy of Diana's death, Decades of waiting now, as he finally leads his message, is one of continuity and unity. He's extending olive branches left and right, but even the king's patience has limits. So here's my prediction, YouTube fam. These divorce rumours, they're just the beginning. As Meghan's Hollywood dreams fizzle, she'll realise her most bankable asset is her status as royal rebel. A divorce keeps the brand alive for Harry. It'll be a brutal wake-up call, but maybe it's what he needs. In the ashes of the fairy tale gone wrong, Harry might rediscover his true self, not as Meghan's puppet or William Spare, but as his own man, who apologises and learns and serves, a man who understands the real nobility. It's not about Netflix deals, it's about character. Well, when will it happen? That's the $12 million Montecito question. But one thing's for sure, this raw drama is far from over. So stay tuned and keep those notifications on. And remember, in the Game of Thrones, you either play by the rules or you get played. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe before you go so you never miss any juicy raw breakdowns from your boy. And trust, with these two nightmares far from done self-immolating, the scalding tea is only just getting started. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.